that's too much water. I need a higher concentration of masculinity. Back on the trail. Ah. How weird. It feels nice. Good morning. Um, part two, we just started hiking straight up the mountain out of the town of Hot Springs. Um, it, we had breakfast at the Smoky Mountain Diner. Uh, delicious. We were going to have a light breakfast, but we ended up having a heavy breakfast. Uh, it was wonderful. I suggest you definitely go there. Um, it is a race to the shelter before the rain starts. It is about 50 degrees we woke up to. And it's funny, we make like little comments about like, oh, it's cloudy, we gotta go back to Hot Springs. Oh, ouch, that hurt, we gotta go back to Hot Springs for another day. Uh, such a cute little quaint town and I would say it's magical. And that is the whole town of Hot Springs. I think one more zero in Hot Springs was a bad idea. Even though I had a great time, I hate this. I don't wanna hike up the hill anymore. Everyone's gone ahead already, which is fine. They're a lot faster than me. Even Soap offered to hike with me today, but I just didn't want to put anyone down because I knew today was going to be hard anyways. But it's just straight up from Hot Springs and it's tough. It's really tough. But I know I got this. Maybe. We'll see. If not, I'll just roll down the mountain. kind of looks fun. Just kidding. Someone who means the world to me said that what I'm doing is growth because I don't have to be out here. I'm choosing to be out here and push myself to extreme limits and challenge myself even when it is hard. And I really need that motivation in life back home. So I'm learning tools, hopefully as I go, to be a better me when I get done with this, even though it's so freaking hard. What's insane to me is that I was on that mountain two days ago and coming down into the town of Hot Springs. You can't see it because of the trees, but I was up there. All right, I am feeling a little bit better, but this is my reward when I get to camp tonight for completing today, because I've been looking forward to this, and I think it's good incentive to hike up these hills. <laughs> Oof, not 100%, but I am feeling a little bit better. Looks like it is a pond. There's cute little benches you can sit on and enjoy the pond. just ran into Bandit and a few of the other guys going the other way. Uh, looks like they slack pack. Started at 8. It's like 10.30 and they're almost already back to Hot Springs. What a difference it makes about your pack. I don't think I'm getting in the shelter night tonight, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. I, I just need to be adaptable and live, live and let live. Uh, 
but I am jealous of going back to Hot Springs tonight. He did boost my spirits a little bit. Uh, he's always so jolly and happy and just positive. What a great guy. I think I saw him videoing, so try and find his videos. His name is Bandit. Here is the crazy, crazy climb. Wish me luck. Oh, I'm in a parking lot. I thought there were gonna be a lot of crazy inclines, but there's not. And I don't know what I was freaking out about before. Just kidding. <laughs> it still sucks, but it's not as bad as, not as much suck as I thought it was gonna be. I can smell the uh, leftover fire smell. It smells good, which I hate that I like the smell of it, but I do know that this fire was a good fire. So it does make it a little bit better. This is the burned area. So I met this really cool girl, her name is Shine. I thought it was Jenny uh, sneaking up behind me because Shine was in front of me and somehow we flipped around, but we hiked a little bit today together and she's pretty cool. She's from Spokane, Washington. So she's the farthest west uh, that I've met so far. Um, there's been like occasional Californias, but it was like loosely like, oh, I've been living there for like two years or whatever. But I don't know, it's pretty cool. And she seems really cool. She got a dog back home as well. So but we got our first picture together overlooking hot springs when we almost climbed straight up the mountain and we missed the AT, so fun stuff. Uh, just one more small mountain, 0.3 to the shelter. I'm proud of myself. Cannot wait to eat that Reese's. And it's like the thick one too. If there's room in the shelter when I get there, I will be free from the rain. However, not from the wind. So now I need to figure out, I don't know if you can hear the wind, if I'd rather have protection from the wind or from the rain. Um, I mean, in the tent, I will be protected from both, but then I'll have a wet tent tomorrow. Decisions, lots of decisions. For the table. For the table? Oh, <laughs> Order. <laughs> Stay away. Have the pasta. Eh? Mm, that's good. Yeah, have you not had it? Yeah, they never. You never had one. Not like the thicker ones. Oh yeah. yeah it's it an appropriate is. size. Yeah. Exactly. Well deserved. And it's, but it, and it's one. So it's like. Oh. I know they do. So we have next step, which is Susan, and Neil is quasi quick to quick to smile, quick with a smile. But they're finding a tent spot. Got to camp a little bit early, and I'm glad I did. Rolled in about 1:30ish. Uh, got the last spot in the shelter. Woo! So it is me, soap, nutter butter, uh, sassafras, and then two others. Moxie and a guy I just met, I have no idea what his name is, but we're gonna be kind of
kind of tying up our tarps to the front of the shelter. Uh, it seems like the shelter will keep us dry. However, the wind's gonna be whipping in all night, which might bring rain in. So we're gonna kind of jerry-rig some kind of covering to the front of the shelter. Privy, there is a privy even though our house says there's not. However, it's nasty, it's full, don't use it. I just peed next to it. Um, and then there are bear cables, which also say that the bear cables are broken, but they are fixed. So feel free to stay here. It is quite a cute campsite. Um, not very many tent spots. I think there's a field a little bit past the shelter, but it's, it's decent, it's good. In much better spirits now that I'm with my tramley again. So should be a, a fun night. Probably just gonna do some journaling and uh, stay as warm as I can. Brent and Willie are here, or Steamboat Willie. Um, Susan and Neil popped up, which was so weird. I haven't seen them in like over two weeks. Uh, and they have new names, as you saw. So that helped a lot seeing them and just being back around them again. And Sassafras has never met them, so it was nice for her to meet them. Oh, It's wild. <laughs> Good boy. But I'm gonna take this one. <laughs> <laughs> He's undoing the fire to make his own fire. <laughs> I'm taking this. I brought over kindling, but now I'm taking this big stick because I deserve a big stick. What are you doing, bud? I don't know. It's, I need to work out where my stick belongs. <laughs> I'm gonna take I want him to go take it back over. Yeah, yes. His little stash. Oh, Willie. Sponsored by.